Welcome to Pop the Cork. You know it, you love it. It is time to wet your whistle Wednesday. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. You get two bonus shows of the Real Monica Adams shows on these days. We've got our normal morning show. And then we started this last year and we have so much fun with it. If you've never seen it, we're going to have you kick back. If you're at home already, grab your favorite glass of wine, maybe a beer, a little bourbon, tequila, whatever you'd like, or a mocktail. We don't care. This is a time to have fun, get a little educated as well. And we're going to take you deep into the industry of the winemaking region. In fact, today we're going to talk about bottling. But have you ever been to Defiance Ridge Vineyards? If not, let me take you on a little tour. All right, to find and today, there was a lot of this taking place, bottling. In fact, I found out that they bottle twice a year, and they've been at it since about 9 o'clock this morning. Have you ever had a chance to see something like this? This is a well-oiled machine. A lot of people helping out to do just that today. <laughs> there was a little slow down there for a second for them to say hi and have some fun. Well, let's find out what it was all about today. Let's bring in the owner, Chuck Gillentine. Good afternoon to you. Hello, Monica. How are you? I'm good. So you're still at it. You're not even done yet. Oh, well, the guys are still at it. They've been at it all day. Uh, it's, uh, it takes quite a crew to, to bottle. Uh, we have a mobile bottler that uh, uh, travels the state, and uh, today's our day for whites and rosé. Oh, and then you're going to do that again what month? We'll do it again in a couple of months. We'll do Nortons and a Reds in a couple of months. Uh, but today we uh, we uh, did Vignol, Saval Blanc, Vidal Blanc, uh, Rayon Dior, uh, two rosés, and a sweet white. Uh, they're all in all, I think there was eight eight wines. Eight wines. And so you started at you said about nine o'clock this morning, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, this morning early. Murph was here early, and uh, you know, we got. Uh, uh, the crew is usually some of the guys that work here, and, uh, and we had some customers earlier here to help us, and and a couple still here that's been been with us all day long. And how many have you done today? Oh, uh, this would be we're about to finish up with our eighth wine, and it's a it's a sweet white, and it's a blend of uh, several different grapes, but mainly uh, Rayon Dior, Vidal Blanc, and a little Tremonet. Uh, uh, but uh, it's, it's gone real well. It, it's, a, it's a pretty fast process. Uh, the, the mobiler, the, the bottler is great and knows his stuff and keeps everything working wonderfully. And so you had mentioned that this is something newer for you, the mobile aspect of it. Tell us about that. Yeah, we uh, in, in the past, we uh, had bottled over at the, one of the neighboring wineries. Uh, they offered it as a service. They have a bottling line. And uh, we, we quit that three years ago when things changed out here. And uh, so we, we've been bringing in Brent and, and his line. Actually, it works better, even though, uh, you know, we don't have to take the wine over and bring it back. And it's safer and the whole bit. So uh, uh, Murph can tell you a story about what happened to him a few years ago with some Norton in the middle of downtown Defiance. Oh, really? Is he there behind you? That story. But anyway. <laughs> we might want to hear. All right, so let, let's see behind you. I just showed them uh, the kind of like the bottling line, but let's see who's who's all still there. How many you have left? Uh, we've got uh, in, in the the trailer right now. There's probably eight guys. The uh, diehards are left with you. Uh, you know that you have to have someone handle the box. Do there's just certain things that only one person can do. So you really need eight person to run it, and then the guy who owns it owns a bottler line, bottling line will, he, he adjusts and runs things inside the trailer the whole time. By the way, if you're just tuning in, Wet Your Whistle Wednesday, and it's with Chuck Gillentine of Defiance Ridge Vineyard. Sean said, I've been there for watch garden, been there to watch the garden party ban and Butch Wax in the Hollywoods. They actually have the garden uh, pa uh, party ban coming up again. So a lot of great Butch music. Wax there. Alpha, you know, won the Friday night bands this summer too. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about some of the events coming up, uh, by the way, but wanted to show you kind of behind the scenes, a lot of hard work that goes into every aspect of it, making it and then bottling it before it ever gets to you for that gorgeous glass of wine. Thank you for taking us behind the scenes of that, by the way. You're uh, welcome. Today, we're actually going to feature a white wine, your Vignoles. Tell us a little bit about your Vignoles. Okay, so Vignoles is, is, is our state wine. It's the only thing we grow here on the property. Uh, Vignoles is, uh, represents probably 20% of the white grape, of the grapes that are grown in the state of Missouri. Uh, it's very versatile. Uh, it's kind of like a Riesling. You can make it off dry, dry, sweet. You can make a dessert wine out of it. And it actually has a very similar to Riesling and in, in, in taste and, and, and what you pair it with. Uh, uh, we make fantastic wine. Our off-dry wines a golden medal nearly has every year that Merce made it. And uh, the, the dry vignette, we make it a little differently. I like to distinguish it from the off-dry because it both wines, if you, if you let them sit on the skins for a long time, they usually taste a lot alike. Um, the dry, we try to take it off the skins earlier so it, it's more of a grapefruity uh, Sauvignon Blanc New Zealand style of, of a wine. Uh, now you're talking my language. That's, that's I, love, I love the dry vino. It, it, I mean, it's a fantastic wine. It pairs well with anything that has salt in it. Uh, it's just wonderful. And, uh, you know, and, and, the, and the sweeter, the off-dry vino pairs with anything with heat. And uh, Mexican food goes great with it. And and Thai food, uh, all that kind of stuff. I was just going to say Thai food. So, yes, yeah, so spicier the better there. So if you are like me and you like spicy food, this is the wine for us. But you also mentioned it's really a wine that can pair pretty much with anything. A lot of good chicken dishes and fish dishes also. It's, it's It pairs fantastic with wine. I mean, Riesling is known as, as probably the most pairable food and wine pairing to, to, to go to. Riesling's pair with just about so many things other than big you know red beef but even even a sweeter can can if you use a spicy chili rub steak or something uh it, it can work uh but vinos has a lot it's it's a lot like it it's it's an incredible grape um uh, it makes very small bunches about the size of your fist uh -huh. and it's, it's it's hard to grow because if it if you get a lot of rain uh, you got to watch it because it, it can it can get right in the middle of those bunches, and then you and then you can have some issues. But uh, most of the years, the, the weather in July and August are are pretty dry. Last year was was rough, uh, yeah. but uh, anyway, it, it is it, it's a, it's a great wine, and and it flies off the shelves here. I love it. Uh, Abby's watching right now in Branson. I love that. Abby, we're going to show your promo in just a second. So stay tuned for that. Abby Stahlschmidt, who you've met before. Have you not? Incredible violinist. She's got to come out there and play if she hasn't played already. I would love to hear her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's an international composer and violinist. I'm, I'm going to do a little sneak preview of something that she has coming up if you guys haven't heard it yet. Uh, we talked about all the different events. And if you haven't been out there, I wanted to showcase it in one of the videos they have. Something that I know a lot of you are planning right now is to take your moms out. So tell us about your Mother's Day brunch, Chuck. Uh, Mother's Day brunch is going to be a little bit like our Easter brunch. which was amazing. And I think we've already got 330 reservations. Woo! Good job. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a great day for moms. And from long-term weather forecast, it looks like it could be a nice day. Uh, but it uh, we'll, we'll have the brunch seating started at 10, and they'll go through 1 o'clock. And then we'll it will be we'll have just a regular menu all afternoon. And a lot of people do that too. They just come out after one for for the music and and uh, and so they don't have to do the fight the hustle and the bustle of the brunch. Right. right. But don't wait again because you know if you're making those reservations, there's a lot of people planning already. So don't wait to the last second. I also had some people reach out to me and they said, Hey, did did you say that they're still taking possibly for this year in case somebody is uh, trying to uh, advance their wedding? Do they have any uh, weekends open for weddings? And I said, Well, I'll ask them next time I talk to them because you've become a great place for people to hold their weddings. So any availability for the rest of the year? You know what? I, I don't have the calendar in front of us, but there's there's probably some weekends or dates available, uh, especially uh, later in the year, you know, in the November, December time frames. Uh, okay. Just uh, send an email over to info at Defiance Ridge and, and our event manager will get back with you. 
Perfect. Yeah. Beautiful destination, by the way. You know, if you don't want to do all of the expense of going to like Napa or something like that and at the destination wedding, here you go. We've got a gorgeous wine region right there in the Augusta Defiance area. Defiance Ridge Vineyards, again, defianceridgevineyards.com is the website that you can go to to find out about all these incredible events and the wines. I was looking at your wine membership earlier and there's two different opportunities for people. There's a premium one. Do you want to tell them what they get in those? Well, the premium wine club, we we started uh, bringing in some very high end wines from from the West Coast and and actually some European wines also. Uh, you can you you get a discount with those that that a regular member won't get. Uh, plus, you get options of of, of buying uh, our reserved wines at a, at a lower price. You get thirty percent discount off of things instead of the twenty percent discount that uh, regular wine club members get. You know, it's yep. growing slowly. I didn't expect it to be a huge wine club uh, just because it's it, it would be very hard to manage. You know, we got 400 people in the other wine club. Sure. So uh, we, th we just thought we'd offer this out, something a little different. Uh, it concentrated more on wines and, uh, and, and, you know, hopefully people will, you know, try them. Yeah, absolutely. Again, there's different opp opportunities for you there. So check it out at defianceridgevineyards.com. That's where you can look at the calendar of events, find out again about the weddings. Again, so many people that have been enjoying it, the weather, doing that beautiful turn. This weekend, actually, is perfect winery weather. Weather, and <laughs> say that after you've been drinking some wine. Perfect winery weather as we'll be in the 60s all weekend, so it won't be oppressively hot. I actually want to run through some of the things that you have coming up. So here's a rundown. You, you're really, really popular for your trivias. So the music trivia night is coming up this Friday. This Friday. And there's the music for you. Captain Bulkhead and the Portholes Saturday. Tell them about Scott and Carl because that's one of my favorite bands. Oh, uh, Scott and Carl have been friends for a long time. Uh, uh, they, they're just great entertainers. Uh, you know, they've been around playing and and the the wine region here since as, as long as i can remember mm -hmm. and uh you know people they, they they you know they attract quite a crowd um and you know carl's just a great singer and loves to please his audience and, yes, he does. Uh, and yeah. they're they're just they're fun fun to have around I and mean, we've been working with them since 2009 so oh i love um, them i love them they're definitely if you've never seen them tr truly incredible musicians and singers but carl is hilarious and he is quite the entertainer. You he is the entertainer. Yeah, he is you get out there. He, he is, he's so, so good at that. Uh, the next weekend, by the way, they'll have the From the Cellar Dinner Series. Uh, that will be the following Wednesday. That's then, a week from tonight. Yes. And then Harry Potter Trivia Night. I bet you that one will be a popular one as well. I just sent a link to my friend for the Mexican wine dinner that you have that we've been talking about. Yes. And I, I said, we got to go to this. My friend is uh, Hispanic, so I thought she would love that one. You're excited about it, aren't you? I can't wait for this dinner. I'm yeah. I'm so, so excited about it. Uh, you know, it's filling up slowly. I think we've got maybe 40 tickets sold so far. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, we try to cap it at 100, and normally they fill up. Uh, this this should be incredible and very another educational night. Uh, uh, Maria is just fantastic with talking about all this how they do it. And it's, it's quite a history lesson. Yep. A little tequila for us. <laughs> yes, be, you know, a, a lot little, of new things. Exactly. Again, a lot of opportunities for you for great events, great wine, great food. And this is just the perfect time. Uh, you've been bottling again all day. How hard was it to be working against the wind? Cause I'm looking out the window and it's still windy. It's very, it's been very windy. It's, it, you know, it comes in gusts and it's just sometimes a, uh, Yesterday, I think afternoon was worse than this afternoon. I think yes, but, yes. Uh, but it it's uh, I mean it's a little crisper today, so it's more manageable. Uh, you, you know, it blows things around. You know, <laughs> that I just there goes watch some bottles. Them really, like, boxes of bottles. You know, <laughs> bottles of you know, the cases would fall over, and uh, so you know it, we're kind of protected where we are with uh, with the bottling line. But still, yeah. it, you get those gusts. It's it, we've had a decent crowd today, though. Uh, Good. I kind of shocked with all the wind. 
Well, hey, the, once they're inside, they, they don't mind that. But yes, it doesn't matter. The, the great thing is they're there for you all year long. That's one of the things I wanted you to know is they're open all throughout the year. The hours just change depending on the season. But now with the spring and summer season full blown into it, they are open at 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. Except on Thursdays, you're open till 9, right? Yes. And then on to the weekends, depends on if they have big events. I only, uh, we haven't mentioned this, but besides weddings that I want you to think about, how many people do you have that book you for big events like retirement parties and birthdays and stuff like that? Well, we have, we have parties every weekend. Uh, you know, we try to cap them at so many. Uh, we have a, a, a number of, of people that we, we try to cap total. But, you know, some, some Saturday or Sunday, we may have four, four parties going on at the same time. Oh, my goodness. Um, I mean, this past Saturday, we had a, you know, we had a, the, the wedding in the morning. We had two parties in the afternoon and then we had a large wedding in the evening. Uh, I think it was probably the biggest day that uh, we may have ever had here. I love to hear that. Well, the word is getting out. I know a lot of our viewers that watch in the morning hear us talking about how we're going to have check on in the afternoon. They've all been writing me saying, hey, I'd never been there before. I love it. They, they, they tried, they came out, somebody just wrote me and said, I saw your show and I went out and tried the trout board and I was like, good, I told you the trout board was amazing. Trout so board yeah, is amazing. Get it, right? So, so some of our favorites for sure, food and wine. We've been featuring today the Vignole and you've got um, the off dry you mentioned is the one that's been the gold medal winner again and again and again. So that particular one, if somebody wanted to come out and try a tasting, that's that is that that's not on the premium, is it? Uh, is it is it? not. It's just yes. an inner normal tasting, and it will it will be on the shelves tomorrow. Oh, there you go. So they've been doing a lot of work for you at Defiance Ridge Vineyards, and we will be out there again coming up in May. I might even time it if my friend. What I'm trying to figure out is if my friend wants to go to that Mexican dinner. That would if be so, perfect. Then that's when I'm going to be back out there. Otherwise, we'll be back in the the beginning of May. But yeah, that's that that will be my plan. That's that's my hope. Uh, tell the guys great work today. <laughs> great job today, guys. Yeah, we 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 have a lot of racket going on. That's okay. I just wanted to check in with you again. I want to let you all know about the wonderful things that they're doing each and every Wednesday. And we'll figure out what we're going to be featuring next week. We feature reds, whites. We featured a port last week. If you didn't see that. So I want you to come out there and tell Chuck that you saw us and that you're getting ready to try your favorite. Chuck, I will see you, okay. of course, next Wednesday. And then for all of you, stay tuned. I'm not done just yet. I want to show you this incredible woman. So, Chuck, keep an eye to this. This is my, go my whistle. Yeah, go wet your whistle and then look at this because this is who I want to introduce you to. Bye, okay. Chuck. And listen up, everybody. Thank you. Hey, the Real Monica Adams listeners, this is Abby Stalschmidt. You may know me as an electric violinist who has performed with various bands in the area, and I'm excited to personally invite you to my premiere at the Sheldon Concert Hall on June 5th at 8 p.m. You'll hear my new symphonic rock music as well as classic rock and pop covers, all backed by a string orchestra, full band, and multiple guest instrumentalists and vocalists throughout the night. It's truly going to be an awesome time. Head on over to Metro tickscom or the Sheldon Concert Hall to get your tickets for the Dream Machine concert on June 5th at 8 p.m. I cannot wait to see you there. Ah, there you go. If you didn't hear the announcement, we've had Abby on a few times on the show in the last year, and now it's an opportunity for you to see her up close and personal at the Sheldon. How awesome is that? We already have our tickets. My family has bought their tickets. I've got friends that I personally train. They are going to be there as well. So I can't wait to see you. And that's an opportunity for you to see her with her own music. Maybe you've had a chance like I have in the past to see her play. She's done the trans Siberian Orchestra, uh, Tribute Band. You maybe have seen her with the Liston Brothers and so many others at the pageant, et cetera. But now this is her music. She's been working on this for years now, that dream and that idea, that passion that burns inside of you. Abby, I love you. And I'm so, so proud of you. All right, everybody, tomorrow I want you to tune in at 7 a.m. We have positive talk time. If you don't know about that, I join Jessica Cook, the owner of Yuppie Puppy Pet Spa, every other Thursday. And we sit down, we talk about our furry animals, 
We talk about some really incredible topics. Sometimes we are laughing our butts off. Sometimes we're educating you. Sometimes, I mean, I made her cry. She made me cry. But you know, the love of animals, we are going to feature a new dog tomorrow that's up for adoption right on cue my dog's bark and say, yeah, mom, adopt them out. We also are going to show some dogs that unfortunately are still there, long timers that we need to get adopted out. Like Jalapeno's still there, darn it. Herman's still there, darn it. We have more and more and more that we're going to show you. Love you as well, Abby. I'm so glad she's watching from Branson. She's got something exciting that she's actually filming in Branson, a secret for her new EP that she'll actually have on the night of her concert at the Sheldon. So tomorrow, positive talk time. Tune in for that. If you can't watch the entire show live, that's all right. Come back to it and then share it with others. We are streaming for you live on multiple platforms. We are now on Facebook. We are on Instagram. We are on X. We are on YouTube and we are on Rumble and we'll just continue to grow and grow and grow so we can continue to reach everyone all over the world with positivity, with education, just having a great time shining the spotlight on some really amazing human beings. And then we're going to be featuring Earth Day. Tomorrow I'm going to do my final test just to make sure we can come to you live from one of my favorite places in Cottleville. It is Stone Soup Cottage and the owners, Nancy and Carl McConnell, want us to come out there and feature their wonderful place, all the great things that they're doing. They've changed it up a little bit. It's now Le Champ de Fleur by Stone Soup Cottage. And they've got rows and rows of beautiful flowers and a new service that they're providing with the flowers. So instead of, you know, going to some big box place to buy flowers, I want you to support local. I'm hoping everything, I'm crossing my fingers, that everything will work out. And if it does, then on Monday, we're going to have a special show from Stone Soup Cottage in Cottleville and looking to bring our doctors out out there to do the show live from Stone Soup. Talk a little bit about health and wellness and Earth Day all together with our Medical Monday. We've got shows that are going to be remote live shows where we can bring the Real Monica Adams show to your business. Do you know about that? We can do events or festivals like Mother's Day. If you don't know, we are going to be doing the Farmers and Artisans Market on Mother's Day. And I'd love for you to bring your mom to meet my mom. I'm challenging you to do just that. Even if it's just for a few minutes, just to say hi, take a quick picture on Mother's Day. I'm going to put a little collage together of all the moms that I was able to meet that day. That's of course on May 12th. And our live show will be from 10 a.m. until noon. We had John and Melissa Knoll in studio with us just this past week. Allison Fitzgerald also from Diamonds in the Rough. What a great show that was. We have so many shows that you can go back and watch on our streaming platform. And if you don't know, we are getting ready to celebrate 300. I can't, that just blows me away. 300 shows on May 1st. Looking for the possibility of a celebration show, maybe from your place. So let me put my email up on the screen and that way you can reach out to me. Info at therealmonicaadams.com if you would like to sponsor the show, if you would like to have a mobile Monica from your business or another business, or hey, maybe you know somebody that aligns with our mission and they want to be a regular sponsor on the show, like Invita Health and Wellness, like Kathy Kilo Peterson, like our friends at Defiance Ridge Vineyards or Yuppie Puppy Pet Spa or our latest Mid-America Spine and Rehab. It just keeps growing and growing. Our Mobile Monica shows, we've got one coming up for you of a celebration anniversary at Firefly Grill in Chesterfield. Have you ever been there? That one I mentioned this morning is coming up in June. We'll celebrate their anniversary with them on June 6th. That'll be in the afternoon, like happy hour time. And then on June 13th, super excited to meet Julie, who owns Sunset Overlook in Columbia, Illinois. All these people having us bring our show to them. We're going to go all around Missouri, Illinois, and hey, it doesn't have to just be in our states. We can take this show on the road and do the show from another state. I'm even going to be doing shows from Cabo San Lucas, and hey, here's some breaking news. I'm going to do some shows from Italy. That's right. That's coming up in November. I tell you what, we don't sit still here, here on the Real Monica Adams team. We're just going and going and going and uh, everything God told me he would bring, he brings and bountiful. We've got so much to provide for you. And I just have to say that we couldn't do it without you watching and supporting the show. So thank you so much for everything that you're bringing to us. God love you all. I hope you had a beautiful day. It's still some daylight to salvage. So go out and enjoy that. And then tomorrow morning, bright and early, seven o'clock on all these platforms, I'll see you with Jessica Cook with our positive talk time with Yuppie Puppies Forever Rescue. Have a beautiful day. God bless you all.